Welcome to this overview of Triad, a modular effects plugin by Unfiltered Audio. Uh, in this video, I'll just give you a walkthrough of everything the plugin can do, what it is, and all the different elements to it. But first of all, let's just listen to what it can do on this track playing below with some of the different presets. Okay, so when you first open the Triad plugin, you see this window of split frequency bands, which basically takes the incoming audio, in this case I've got it on the master channel, and splits it in a variety of ways. You've got these different ways of splitting it, so you split it three band frequency, two band frequency, you split it in parallel with the original signal, uh, three bands and two bands, you can do mid side processing, you do left and right split stereo channel uh, processing on it, so I'll just leave it there for now. You can adjust the frequency band windows, you can adjust the level of each window. I love this unity button here, if you watch the volume there, um, as you raise and lower different bands it adjusts the other bands to kind of match, so the volume doesn't alter quite as much, whereas if you turn the unity off, it can have a massive effect on the volume. So you've got that choice which I really like. Um, when you process something mid-side or left-right, Instead of having a frequency band here, you have a width control. So if you see here, it says width 100%. You can narrow it and make it mono, or you can really widen it. See the difference there? Really gorgeous uh, processing power there with that. If you go back to the three band, this thing here, a spectral snap. It kind of adjusts the band so there's equal amounts of kind of energy frequency wise coming from each band. Um, and you can even go further by making this dynamic thing that as the um, sounds change, the kind of bands change with it. So it still adjusts the energy level to be the same for each band, but it just moves the bands around according to what information is coming in, which is pretty cool. I quite like that. And then, of course, you can adjust it back to how you want um, afterwards. The slope is pretty useful. You can have a real soft slope between the bands. Make it more obvious here. Or you can have quite a harsh slope. So it's more. comfortable sounding so you could use the 12 db for more mix oriented stuff and the 72 for more creative perhaps that's the different thing you could do with it so that's the initial window of the triad plugin a uh, cool creative way to work with uh, frequency splitting but that's just the beginning once you hit this biome button you open up the biome multi effects engine now the cool thing about the triad is it's taken the original biome plugin and split it, each of the bands, the frequency ranges separate into different multi-effects engine and you can then work on them differently. There's a choice of over 40 different plugins from your delays, your granular, reverb, loads of different plugins that you can put in any order on each channel. I love this uh, lo-fi reverb one here, glitter. Adds a kind of crappy 80s, I don't know, just a really nice sound to it. Just get all these set up the way I want them to, so you notice, so you notice it's just on the high frequency. I'll just mute the other two so you can hear what it's doing. Pretty cool. Right, let's play around with the mid-range. I'll put a compressor on it. So this is working on the the mid frequency band, the 
compressor's just working on the mirrors, not on the highs or the lows. Add a bit of delay. So it's already creating some interest in the sound by shifting it all around in the different frequency ranges. But this is the real beauty of the biome, is this mod channel here. Not only is it a multi-effects, but it's a modular multi-effects. And you can use all these uh, modulation modules, if you will, uh, to move the parameters of all the other plugins. So there's these circles on the top right are outputs, bottom right are all inputs. And you can just click and drag and link up uh, a modulator to basically any effect. So here I'm putting completely random a chaos module onto the gain of the saturation on the high frequency. So you can hear it shifting around there. Um, but if you notice that uh, as I add one, another uh, output port opens, so I can just add it to a load more different things. So I just added it to the space on the uh, multi-tap delay there. So let's use this other one, this uh, sample and hold. Uh, let's put it onto the damping of that awesome reverb. You can see it's starting to move around now. I can do it to host or I just click there to change it to Hertz and now it's working to Hertz out of uh, tempo sync another port has opened up so let's add this um, let's add it to the delay um, mix when dry now let's add it again to uh, what can I add it to now add to the ratio the compressor so you can already hear that this kind of simple, once simple sound is just getting really complex as I add all these different modulators uh, to all the inputs of the different effects. So I think you can have unlimited amounts of modular and nine effects per channel on the biome. But let's say you're enjoying one and you want to try it on a different frequency band, just click the arrow and the high band has now gone to the low band, so the same effects are now moved to the low band. Uh, try a different band, there you go, go to the mids. So the high frequency uh, engine is now the mid engine, you can hear it in a different frequency band. So there you have it, the triad. A pretty complex engine uh, for creating multi-effects, creating a lot of movement within your sound. Highly recommend it. If you'd like an even more in-depth kind of walkthrough and patter through Triad, uh, I've just put another video up which should be linked now uh, to take you through putting the Triad on different tracks and um, just more experimentations with it. Hope you enjoy.